Hello, this is Raina with Lila Crafts coming on today as part of um, hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. Um, I do realize it's Thursday and I'll share why in a moment why I'm behind, but um, this is an open collaboration that is hosted by Marianne's Craft Corner as well as Gigi's Cool Creations. And the whole idea is that you would use what you already have in your stash to create embellishments. And so I am going to be using my scraps today to make a bunch of flowers. And so um, I just wanted to share before I I jump into that, um, that I apologize. I'm a little behind on uh, comments and watching videos. I had a couple of medical procedures that had to be done, and so I'm just a little bit behind. So anyway, let's jump on in. So I am going to be making um, sweet layered up flowers, and these flowers, you can use any of your scraps to create um, flowers. So um, I realized that I had been making some Easter crafting and using these sweet, bright, happy Easter colors, and I thought, you know what? Let me just take all those scraps and I can turn those into flowers and have them ready to go. Um, there are several people that are hosting um, uh, challenges right now, and I'm late to the party on that too, but um, I do want to support people. So even if it's past the date, I wanted to send them some stuff. And so um, one of the things I thought I could include are flowers. Now you can put anything in the center and I probably will definitely be putting some things in the centers before I send those off and potentially even adding leaves. But I just wanted to show you this specific version of flowers that I am working on. What I am utilizing is um, I have this punch. This is a Stampin' Up! punch, and it looks like this. And I am layering this up at least six times or about six times to make uh, my flowers. And so here is some very pretty uh, paper. I just use this to cover my journal. So I'm not really sure which size I want to do, but um, all I'm going to do is just go in here and then just start punching away. Um, you know, sometimes my scraps sit in there and now I've missed the season and I'm not utilizing them. And I sit in there for almost a year before I get to use them again um, to make something. So I thought, you know what, these sweet ones that I'm doing right now with this very beautiful paper, I'm going to just go ahead and make some now. So as you can see, I... Uh, just punched out six of these and I probably will use these on the gold foil side versus the flat side. But um, so once you have them, then what you're going to do is I like to pinch up the edges on the side that I um, am doing it on. So I'm just going in and pinching up these. So you would do that for all of them. Just pinch up the sides. And then what you have is like a pile like these right here. So you can see these are double-sided. And the beauty of doing double-sided is if somebody looks at the side, like these are single-sided, um, they're gonna see the white or, um, you know, this also has pink in it. But um, these are all double-sided right here. So um, what I do is I just take my hot gl glue gun and I just put a little dab of glue in, um, in the middle and then I just kind of squeeze up the petals a little bit and then I offset them. Now, you can just do it this way and rotate and, and just keep putting them like that. So I'll do one like that so you can see the difference, but I like to stagger them even a little bit more. So, um, so I'll do one that is just lining them up again, straight with each other um, six times, folding up the edges putting a dot of glue in the middle and then uh, lining them up so that they match. So you just basically have two different kinds of alterations going on. Okay, and one more. Again, and the last one I like to really squish up so that when you put your center in there, it um, you could even glue it shut like that if you wanted more like a daffodil look. You could definitely do that. Okay, 
So this is what it looks like if you line the petals up, just alternating them. And this is how I like to do them, which is to spread them out more so it makes the flower, um, you know, fatter. But again, this is a perfect way to do it. And this is, this I really think would give you a beautiful daffodil look. Um, so, so there's that. So let me show you how I do the ones where I offset them a little more. So here's uh, the first one. And then I just go in and I just turn it slightly um, sideways. So you can see how these petals are all kind of overlapping a little bit. So I just do that and then I'm gonna go in here, another little dab of um, hot glue. And I like hot glue because it, um, it dries quickly. And so you can just move on to the next one. So you can see, I just staggered that again. So if you like that look just like that, like that's a very pretty flower too. And this only has three on here. So um, this one's not quite bent. So let me bend that up. Okay, I'm gonna put a little dab of glue and I'm gonna offset petal number five right in there. Okay, you can see it's just getting fatter and fatter. And then let's just put one more in here. Four, petal number six. Okay, so now you can see the difference. This is a fatter flower and this is a, you know, a more compact flower with lots of layers. So you can make them all different ways that you would like. So this is how they turned out when I finished them. And so I just wanna encourage you to think about your stash differently. So I'm gonna start off with these. Um, I uh, used this bling that I had in my stash and then for the petals, I used angel wings. So these are angel wings. These are felted angel wings that I hauled off AliExpress last Christmas time. And so I just cut them in half and then I positioned them how I wanted them. So this one, I did a little closer together. This one, I did a little further apart. So just whatever your eye likes, whatever is pleasing to your eye. So I use those. Then I had um, some of these leaves in my stash. I've had these for forever and they were a little bit long. So what I did was I cut the stems off I folded them in half or in um, the to the length I wanted and then I glued them on to my um, to my flowers so and I used a little bit of heart bling um, in the center for these so I love how those turned out then um, I used some uh, pink bling in the center for these and then I wanted something pokey and I saw that I had these little snowflakes and I think these are ones that I just recently opened up that I have had for a long time and I think that looks great as a petal. So I used the snowflake um, as the petal for, for these. Then um, I um, have some of these beautiful filigree leaves. So these are actually leaves and I love those. Um, and I use pom-poms, little pom-poms in the middle. I didn't have fat enough pink pom-poms. So went ahead and used two. On this green one, I used a matte center. Um, so I thought that that matte really um, was a great contrast to the foil um, on the outside of those. And then um, these right here, these little holographic petals, those are stars. Yes, they are stars. I put my flower like this, and then you can see just something that looks a little bit more like a petal. So that is how that turned out with a piece of bling in the middle. Oh, and lastly, what I did was I used the paper punch. Yes, the paper punch to punch these out. And then all I did was cut this in half. And um, you can see that I created petals with those. And so I didn't pinch the edges on those. I just kept those flat. So that one and this one, and I have that holographic paper that I used for the petals on these. So I just encourage you not only to utilize your scraps, but to utilize what you've got going on in your stash, which is exactly what this Embellish With Us Wednesdays was supposed to encourage us to do. So that is it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would so love it if you subscribe and become part of my uh, Lila Crafts uh, YouTube family. And if you can give my video a thumbs up if you liked any 
part of it, I would really appreciate it as it really does help my channel. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.